What's a total waste of money yet people still pay for? Extended warranty on inexpensive items. $29.99 earphones, $9.99 extended warranty asterisk. Does not cover loss or stolen, water damage, misuse, and about half a page of other exceptions. In other words, it cover, nothing. Back in 2005, I worked at Radio Shack. We used to have these, rather nice, $30 headphones. We also offered a $3 warranty for them that nobody ever bought except for the super savvy. With the headphone warranty, we literally replaced them right then and there no questions asked. If we had it in stock, we'd go pull it from the hook, scan it, mark as warranty replacement and put in the number needed. Smart people came in and swapped out their headphones every two to three months. Slightly fraying wire? Replacement. Headphone cushion discoloration? Replacement. Volume was too loud and is tinny sounding? Replacement. We didn't test or give a fuck, just replaced and broke the old ones to ensure they were really warranty worthy. Maybe that's why Radio Shack couldn't survive. Their warranty was rather good, and I got 30% commission if I sold one. Best memories. The phone batteries, think home phone headsets not cell phone, were the same. Can't beat that 30% commission though. Radio Shack. F. Internet service providers that still don't offer unlimited data plans. My favorite is how cell plans now have multiple unlimited plans with different definitions of unlimited. My favorite is when the data plan is unlimited 5G, but then the data is capped at 50 gigabytes or something. After that, the speed is reduced to slow speeds, which is basically unusable. Unlimited. Scientology. My dad briefly became involved with that human trafficking cult during the 70s. They harassed him by asking him for money and trying to sell him books and classes the rest of his life. When he developed dementia and lost his ability to make good decisions, and before we knew what was going on, they talked him into buying dozens of their books. Fucking predators. I'm sorry about your dad. Dementia slash Alzheimer's sucks. My dad had it too. Christopher Reeves has an excellent story of how he got involved with them in a tough part of his life. I think he cheated on his wife after getting super famous. Went in for a session where he was supposed to get in touch with one of his past lives and how it created current life trauma. He ends up going into a whole story of how he was responsible for his father killing himself. Scientologists were like wow. That was a huge breakthrough. Our Scientology X3000 machine is off the charts. For dollar 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 you can move up to higher levels in our cult. And he was like yes, yes, that was great. I see the door over there. So, just one SEC. Walked out and thought to himself holy smokes, I just recounted a famous Greek tragedy that they thought was my own story. Can't believe I was falling for these bunch of scam artists. He then got his life back on track. He wrote two books after his accident that left his paralyzed and they're both just wonderful. Extended warranties on something like a small appliance under $200. It is exchangeable at the store during its original warranty and the amount of jacking around and possibly shipping charges or service fee is not even worth it. At Target the other day I scanned a $9 package of Hot Wheels for my son, but before I could move forward with the rest of my stuff I had to respond to an offer for an extended warranty for $3.50. Chico for Hot Wheels. 15 minutes could save you 15 cents on toy car insurance. And good luck getting them to honor the warranty. I've had two square trade warranties I've tried to use, and they make the process a nightmare. Then, they just completely ignore you or say the paperwork was submitted incorrectly until the warranty period is up so you're screwed. Fun story, I bought a TV, really high-end from Best Buy, they tried to tag on a warrant and I asked them the details. If the TV is defective you have to first contact the manufacturer and deal with the OEM warranty. The Best Buy warranty was not on top of the other warranty either. They ran during the same period meaning the Best Buy warranty was completely useless. When I pointed that out the guy was like we're just required to ask. The money people send to celebrity preachers. When a prosperity gospel preacher needs a new airplane or renovation to their mansion, they turn to their congregation to provide the money. When the congregation is in dire need of help, the preacher tells them to pray to God for the money. This particular incident will forever live in my mind. Not opening the doors to a megachurch when people have lost their homes from flooding until Twitter users posted videos of the church showing they weren't affected by flooding, has to be my favorite quote from this article. I did a video in journalism school comparing a megachurch to a storefront church and followed the pastors for several months, interviewing, watching, and recording. The megachurch pastor was disgusting. He made his congregation do everything for him, and he just reaped the monetary rewards. My advice is, if you're looking for a place to worship, always go to the little guys. The pastor at the storefront church was so sweet, invited me to potlucks, and even emailed me regularly for a few years to check on me, not to convert me or anything. He cared about every single person who came to his services. 
The other guy cared about nobody but himself. I'm not really religious, but have family who are. The people who go to the small community churches have always experienced more help and support. My mom didn't go for weeks on end due to a family situation never told anyone, just didn't show up. Multiple people reached out, asked if they could help, dropped off food. My friend goes to a regional megachurch, has for years. Married there, children baptized there. It is very much an identity for their family. Their niece, whom they were helping raise, died in an accident and no one reached out. They couldn't even get a hold of the preacher for the funeral. It ended up being some stranger the funeral home suggested. Like, I'm sure there are good things about big churches. And small churches can have all sorts of problems. But I can't help but remember those incidents. Annually replacing a smartphone. I started getting don't you want an upgrade, messages from my provider literally 3 months after buying my newest Samsung phone. Fuck off, lol. I buy my phones direct from the manufacturer and this still happens. Now Google, I don't want a new Pixel phone, I just bought one from you, if it was broken I wouldn't be buying another from you. I was surprised at how many people do this. I've been averaging a new phone once every 4 years and I'm sure I could have held onto my S7 even longer and still been happy with it. Same, I just got rid of my iPhone 6S last year after it started literally falling apart. I had it for around 5 years. I think same goes for buying new versus refurbished. I got my certified refurbished iPhone 11 from Best Buy for around 60% the cost of a new one from Apple, and it looked brand new, no marks or scratches or anything. They even put a new battery in as part of the refurbishment. I can't imagine paying full price for a phone when no one could even tell the difference. It amazes me that Apple has both put in a lot of work to increase the lifespan of their phones while at the same time has also done an excellent job convincing people they need to upgrade every single year. But it opens up the secondary market and makes more used phones available. Apple still gets those people in their ecosystem for apps. They get a cheaper phone. And whales get a new device every year. It is kind of brilliant. 10mm socket, it'll be gone before you can get a chance to use it. They disappear as fast as guitar picks. Harbor Freight should sell 10mm bulk packs. Paid followers. How do I become a paid follower? Step 1. Be a bot. The bag of spinach in my refrigerator that was purchased to replace the previous, and now spoiled, bag of spinach. Edit holy forking shirt balls, thank you so much babes. Life tip, freeze it before it spoils and tell yourself you'll put it in a smoothie. Then it'll get tiny, tiny bits of spinach all over your freezer every time you grab an item near it all while never actually making a smoothie. Bag your freezer food you heathen. A bag of spinach is already bagged. Ah yes, my ADHD vegetable hospice. Gotta love ADHD. I need all these ingredients for these great recipes I wanna try. Two days later. Great. I don't have any food, just ingredients. I'm thinking of the two packages of raspberries in my fridge that look like a science project gone bad. 95% of gym supplements. Aside from caffeine and creatine, none of them have been vetted enough to be called effective. And the ones that have, are never effective. Edit, yes protein good, included in the 5%. Steroids work better anyways. Huge weddings. Why drop 50 to $100,000? Why drop that much money on an event? Yes the memory is important but some folks drop ridiculous amounts on the perfect even when a much smaller one would be more intimate and not bankrupt someone. I have actually fallen out with a friend's, now, wife over this. They were already in debt and when my friend proposed she started planning a ridiculously over the top wedding that would have been £30,000 plus claiming it had always been her dream. Meanwhile she had not saved, her parents hadn't saved anything for this dream so she expected they'd take out a loan and load up the credit card. I literally turned to them, when they explained the plan, and said why would you do this for a day when you want to buy a house and have kids within the next few years. She got very upset and said it was her dream to have big wedding, I said it was irresponsible to go into so much debt for a single day celebration. In the end they split the difference and still spent something like 15k on the wedding because they couldn't get a loan due to their other credit card debt at the time was something like 12k. They did the classic get another cards and max it out. They are now having a kid and are constantly complaining about how much money they have to spend. Friend of mine only finished paying for his wedding 6 years after he got divorced. Thank you for watching and let us know in the comments where you spend your money in vain.